Good afternoon, aviators. I'm Juliana. And I'm Julissa. And these are your afternoon announcements. On Wednesday, AHS held a send-off ceremony for Ben Craig, who competed at the state swim meet yesterday and today. The results of the meet will be posted by Mrs. Woodford on Sunday night in the student memo. The SAT will be taking place on Wednesday, March 1st and Thursday, March 2nd, and will be held in the gym. You will be taking the test based on your last name alphabetically. AHS Band and Orchestra will have their next show on March 1st at 7 p.m. The theme will be music from the movies, where they will play familiar songs from movie soundtracks. The Alliance Band and Orchestra will be having their concert on March 1st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium featuring songs from How to Train Your Dragon, <laughs> The Wizard of Oz, Lilo and Stitch. Come on down and support the band. Friday, March 3rd, the Downtown Alliance businesses will be take will be hosting First Friday Downtown from 5 to 8 p.m. It will feature food trucks, vendors, and activities throughout the downtown. All with a music theme, performances will be taking place either on the Caboose stage or inside Jupiter Studios. The Senior Blood Drive will take place on March 9th. If you are interested in participating, sign up in your English class. The Senior All Nighter will be held on Saturday, April 15th. It will start at 7.30 p.m. and will end around 4 in the morning. Parents must sign a permission slip and a $5 fee must be paid to Ms. Kinzer in the AHS library by April 5th. Here's a new director's cut with, Ka with Chase Strebel. Hi, film freaks. Welcome back to the director's cut. Now, I love franchises like Star Trek and Star Wars as much as the next guy. But there is one science fiction film that I believe beats them all. Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Released all the way back in 1968, 2001 tells the story of mankind's evolution in the near future and its mysterious connection to extraterrestrial life. This film splits itself into four chapters, which are the dawn of man, humanity finding signs of alien life on the moon, the tension-filled journey to Jupiter, and the bizarre climax where this mysterious life is confronted. But enough of that boring story crap. Look at this cool spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these special effects were in 1968. They have held up so well that some even believe that Cooper could have faked the moon landing. But obviously that's crazy because we all know the moon is where the gateway to Agartha is. Duh. There are some sequences in this film that are just ships landing and moving slowly. Although this sounds like it could get boring, these scenes are made mesmerizing by this film's beautiful soundtrack. Even if you haven't seen this film, I just know for a fact that you've at least heard some of these iconic songs. The tone of these space scenes changes later in the film. Instead of gazing at the marvelous special effects and being enchanted by the music, your heart stops for every moment that one of the characters is in danger. Oh no. Oh no. Don't laugh at this. Don't laugh at this. Close, close your eyes. Without giving too much away, 2001 A Space Odyssey is one of the most fascinating science fiction stories I've ever seen. Its themes are as important today as ever, and its special effects have held up suspiciously well. In conclusion, 2001 is over half a century old, and its effects are still better than modern Marvel movies. And now for the iconic Reppin' That A with Mrs. Woodford. Here's Reppin' That A. 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 And here's Reppin' That A. 
Good afternoon, aviators, and welcome to Repping That A, that show where we get to recognize students who have done some outstanding acts of kindness or achievement throughout the school or the community. First up, we have Jackie DeLeon. She couldn't be with us, but she's a sophomore and was nominated by Mrs. Popio for being a caring citizen. Mrs. Popio said Jackie has gone above and beyond to help a new student adjust to life at AHS. And it's always good to have a friend when you're coming somewhere new. All right, let's see, who do we have up next? Come on down here, Camden. Um, we have Camden Jones, who's a sophomore nominated by Mrs. Collins for being a caring citizen. Mrs. Collins said Camden wrote a very nice note and stuck it on my coffee cup. When I came back to my desk, I saw it and it really made my day. That simple gesture meant so much to me. I'm lucky to have him as a student. And I'd like to also say that Camden is a courageous risk taker. He has uh, currently um, stepped out of the box and led some student-led um, presentations that we've had. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Camden. Thank you. All right, our final nominee is Gabe First. Come on in here, Gabe. Gabe is a freshman who was nominated by Mr. Babula for being a caring citizen. Mr. Babula said that Gabe found a wallet in the cafeteria that had $120 in it, and he immediately turned it into me and the student who lost it was very glad to have it back. Wow, thanks for being such an upstanding student. Thanks for watching. Now back to your announcements. And here's ripping that A. Thank you for watching. I'm Juliana. And I'm Julissa. And we, we hope, hope you have, have a great, great day. day.